Welcome to another AI video tutorial. Today, I am testing the Hiluo AI video platform. I saw they released a new model, so I wanted to give it a try to see how good it is. This is not a paid video, so you will see exactly what it can do. No cherry picking. The first generation I get is exactly what you will see. If you go to the video tab, you can see that by default, it goes to the image to video tab, which is what I use most often in AI video generators. You can upload an image here and add a prompt describing the video, and the AI will generate a video from that. If we go to the Models tab, you can see they offer free trials for the new models, with four free generations each day, so you can test it for free. There are two models for version 2.3, and we will test both today. In the settings, you have two different resolutions, but only the first one is available for free users, depending on the model. You also have some preset prompts for these versions. There are some public prompts without previews, but for version 2.3, they have previews, so you can see what it can do. If we click Insert, it will add that image and the prompt so you can test it, and if you click on the preview, you can see how the result might look. They added a lot of dance types in the prompts, but it seems the AI knows more dance moves than those listed in the prompts. So today, I will test a few of those to see what we can get. They also seem to have added more emotions, which is worth testing too. And there are new options to create advertising videos for your products. You basically upload a photo of your product, and now you can easily animate it. Anyway, in today's video, I will focus on dance videos, since most AI models struggle with dancing. You can also control the camera. There are different options here to create a more cinematic look if you know exactly what you want, but you can also prompt for it and get similar results. If you click on one, you can see how it adds the camera control in those square brackets. Let's delete the prompt and the image so we can test with our own image. By the way, your prompts are refined by default to improve them, but you can turn that off from here if you don't want to use it. I will use this model since I assume it's better than fast model. Usually, when I see something marked as fast, it means some quality downgrade. For resolution, I will use the first one since it's cheaper. I still have one free video trial to test, and after that, it will start using credits. For image generation, I am using Google Whisk because I can generate many images per day for free, and it uses Nano Banana, so it's pretty good. I will include the prompts I'm using on Discord so you can get them for free. To get a perfect 16 to 9 ratio, I usually use Photoshop to crop it. You can see the size it has now, then I go to Crop, select the 16 to 9 ratio, apply it, and save the image. Then I use ChatGPT to generate prompts, but you can do it without it too. I just got better results when I used it. I originally made this custom GPT for Kling AI, but it works fine with all AI models. It's not public, but I will share the link with you so you can use it if you want. What I do is paste the image I want to animate and describe in a few words what I want to happen, like the movement of the character and camera, and ChatGPT gives me a prompt that I can use. Now I see in the prompt words like energetic, but usually when things move too fast, the AI can't handle them properly, so it generates more errors. But let's test it anyway. I'm uploading the image I want, using this image of the woman, then pasting the prompt that ChatGPT gave me. The Generate button is the one showing the credits, so I'll use the free generation now and then use credits later. Because it had the optimization active, it optimized the prompt and then started generating. For me, it took under two minutes for a video. I got the cheapest standard plan for $10, and that gave me 1,000 credits. We'll see on the next generation how much it costs to generate one video. So, we got the first result. Let's test it. It moved pretty fast and had some morphing there. I also added in the prompt to focus on the feet, 
so maybe that caused it too. Now I can see how much it cost me. It takes 25 credits, or shells, or whatever they are, for one video, and if I want full HD, it costs 80 credits, so about three times more. Let me test with this one too to see if it's better. This one took a little longer to generate, around 3-4 minutes, and I got this video. The quality was definitely better and with less morphing, but I wish it wasn't so expensive. Maybe in time, they will make it cheaper. Right now, I can do 12 videos in full HD, or 40 videos in smaller resolution with the same amount of credits, so I think I'll stick with the smaller size for now. You can also ask ChatGPT to adjust the prompt for you if something doesn't look right. Now, I got a new prompt that shouldn't be so fast, so probably fewer errors, but let's test it. I will switch back to the smaller resolution and generate. By the way, at the moment of this recording, this version of the model doesn't have an end frame yet, so let's hope they add it in the future. The result is this one. Still not perfect, but you can always cut the parts you don't like in post-production. Let's also test the fast model to see how it performs, but if the normal model struggles with some prompts, I assume it will be harder for the fast model. You can click generate multiple times to add several generations to the queue. Since prompt refinement is enabled, you can get away with shorter prompts, and if you like a prompt, you can add it to presets. You can also manually insert a camera and test a preset, like Chinese classical dance. The only issue is that when you insert it, it also changes the starting frame, but you can remove it and then select the last image from history. So I'll test the prompt they suggested with the fast model, and then I'll generate one with the normal model as well for comparison. Here we can see which model was used for each generation. This one was made with the fast model, and it shows a lot of morphing in the hands, so I'm not sure it's a good idea to use the fast model for dance. Maybe it could work better for slower scenes to save some credits. The second generation is almost ready. For this one, it starts okay, but toward the end, it still has that hand morphing happening. I don't really like the fast model, so I'll probably stick with the regular one from now on. We also got the Chinese dance with both the fast and regular models. Let's preview the videos. In this case, the fast one wasn't bad since it had slower movements. And the regular model looks quite good, so I recommend the regular model over the fast one. Let's try something more fun, like this hippo ballerina. For the prompt, I wanted it to dance, but I also wanted to move the camera to the face to show how happy it is. So let's upload it really quick, then add the prompt, using the regular model from now on, and let's generate. Let's also go to presets and test the prompt they suggest for ballet to see the difference. Keep in mind that when you insert, you have to reload your image because insert replaces yours. Then let's generate. By the way, once a video is ready, you can post or delete it, download it with or without a watermark, recreate the video with a different seed, share it on social media, or just copy the prompt. Our generation is ready, so let's see what we got. It seems to follow our prompt quite well. It has dance movement and focuses on the face, just like I asked. So I'm quite happy with this result. It came out better than I expected. Now let's compare it with the short prompt they suggested. It starts a little slow and then does some ballet moves, but I preferred the long prompt version, which looked much better. Moving to the next fun project. I wanted a cat that does belly dance. For the prompt, I wanted a static camera because if there's too much movement and the character is in the distance, it will cause more errors. I also want the mouse to applaud. So I have the image uploaded and the prompt ready, let's generate. And we got our generation, which actually looks quite good. There's a little morphing on the coins on her belt, but any AI struggles with small details and speed. I want now a spaghetti character dancing in a plate. For the prompt, besides dancing, I wanted a slow zoom in, and at the end, I wanted it to collapse into the plate to look like normal pasta. If the end frame option were available for this model, we could have represented better how we wanted it to end. And this is what we got. It has a bit of a stop motion look in this one, 
and I didn't like that the steam isn't moving. Let's ask ChatGPT for a new prompt to see if we can get something different, and I'll test with the new prompt. And this is the result. The character dances and then collapses into the plate. It started a little slow in the beginning, but I can speed that up in CapCut so I can work with it. I wanted to see if it can work with multiple people dancing, so I created this image with three tribal women. At first, I was thinking of focusing only on one, like making the middle woman more important. But in the result, I didn't get much movement. It started with the middle character, and the other two only began to move near the end. Then, back to ChatGPT. I wanted something more dynamic, like a haka dance and also for them to pull their tongues out. And this is what we got, more movement, more interesting and dynamic. So by trying different seeds and different prompts until something works, I get that it consumes credits, but what's important is that it's possible, which wasn't possible before. For this one, I tried to make an exotic alien dancer. It's a little bit in the distance, but let's hope the AI doesn't make too many mistakes. For the prompt, I wanted it to be a combination of belly dance and modern dance, with some aliens watching her. ChatGPT sometimes adds those annoying lines in the prompt, so I asked it to remove the M dashes. Let's test the prompt to see if it works. By the way, on one of the free generations I did, I tested camera movements using the camera control and selected one that rotates. And the result was this one. It's pretty good for animation with all kinds of characters. If we didn't have enough dancing cats on the internet before, I think now we'll have even more. And the alien dancer generation is ready and looks like this. I think it came out quite interesting, looks cinematic, like a scene from a movie. For the next idea, I wanted an astronaut dancing on the moon. I'm curious if it takes gravity into account. I see ChatGPT added in the prompt, low gravity with slow floating spins, so in theory, it should work. Let's test the prompt and see what we got. Look at this graceful astronaut dancing on the moon. I think it came out okay. What do you think? I did a few more tests, and my favorite is the regular 2.3 model. If you can afford the 1080p version, use that, and if not, use the smaller version. I did one more test at the higher resolution with this woman dancing. Since it's a close-up, and with high resolution, it improves the chances of getting a nice video. And this is the result. It looks quite realistic, and the dance movements are smooth. I just wish it had a better price. But how does Minimax Video compare with other top video generators, like Kling AI and Google Vio? Using the same images and the same prompts, I did some tests. For the dance, it came out okay. For the ballerina hippo, it didn't look like ballet moves, more like hopping around. For the belly dance, it almost got it, but it wasn't that specific belly dance movement. For the alien dancer, it came out nice. And for the astronaut, I think I can work with that. It looks more like Tai Chi. On the other hand, VO 3.1 seems to be good at dancing, and it adds sound too, but it's more expensive. For the hippo ballerina, it failed though, turning it into a white Shrek-like girl. For the belly dance, it came out nice, I would say. For the alien dancer, it also looks really good, not sure why the alien ran at the end. And for the astronaut, it came out quite beautiful as well. So Minimax is good at dance, but Kling AI can also handle some movements, and Veo3 is also pretty good at this. That is all for today. If you found something useful, leave a like and a comment to help me with the YouTube algorithm. You can find the prompts and images I used in this video on Discord. Check the video description. Thank you, AI Titans, for your support. Have a great day.